Hello again, YouTube. I'm going to be installing this 72 volt, 51 amp hour Chai battery or the Suron. So we need to take out this base plate. To do that, we got to remove like the frame sliders, the skid plate. I'm supposed to turn it upside down, but shit, I guess I'm gonna have to take these mirrors off or something or loosen them. I don't know, I'll figure that out. But first, let's just start with the easy stuff and there's an extended extension we need to install for uh, this thing here. How's this thing go? Like this. Let's see. Okay, missing this thing here. So this goes like, oh no, this goes on here like that. Then this goes on here like this. Then this thing goes on here like so. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, it's pretty fucking big. Did I put that over it? I'm pretty sure that's how I took it off. Yeah, that's right. Okay. These ones get too old. All right, so this just goes on right here in, in place of this thing here. Now there's something like under here that's, that's screwed on. And so we have to take this skid plate off to get access to it. So but first we have to take these four bolts off here. And there is a part that I don't think that I need to do because this is a 2023, so it's a little different than the instructions they have. And you can kind of see the holes where the bottom things screwed in. Yeah. Okay. So we just need to take these four bolts off and then flip the bike over, take this thing off and remove that, that part down there. Okay. And it's gonna be either one of these two, probably a smaller one, but yep. This is it, that is number three. Yep.
Alright, I need to tighten these a little bit. Things already bashed. All right, so now this is kind of the pain in the ass part here. Well, not this part. Just, I'm just taking off that last center bolt from, oops, do it from this side. From the base plate, the stock one. Yeah, there's no way I could have reached that. If I didn't take the whole fucking thing apart, just snap this thing off. See, the screws are still in here. Hmm. I just take this whole fucking thing off, but it's like a guard, I think. So I just leave it. Um, so where is the inner plate? So it wants me to screw these through here all the way. Okay. Thought it was gonna be. Uh, so is this a lot thicker or something? No, not really. I mean, I think these should work. All right, I ran out of batteries there on my GoPro, but all I did was um, I pounded the um, the dings out of here, trying to straighten it up. Um, yeah. So I hope that I can just get the uh, just get the bolt in. Okay. Nice and snug. This bike turned it back over. Okay. Now we gotta finish putting those screws in the bottom there. This guy. Okay. Now some people take this cushion off here, but it's still, there's this little what is this for? I don't know. It's probably for something. I'm not sure. So, see how it looks. Hmm. Doesn't look all that great, actually. 
Huh. And so this thing, this thing won't even fit. Hmm. Yeah, this does not fit underneath the case there. Yeah, okay. Just have to get used to the way it looks there. I think it would probably come up with better soles. Maybe there's some better aftermarket lids we can get or something like that to make it look better. But I don't know. Let's connect to the app here. Oh, we need to turn this shit on. Alright, so let's see if we get to the switch. Street mode, 8,000, and ludicrous mode, 12,000. Well, that's it guys. That's the end of this video. I can't ride it until I get my uh, heat sink back because I can't, you know, mount that without the heat sink. So as soon as I get that back, I'm going to do a couple of videos, you know, top speed maybe do um, uh, what's it called mileage or uh, range and then I have my um, stock wheels coming in I'm gonna put my stock wheels back on I'm having them powder coated right now that we coated I like these a lot it's just like kind of limits the adventure a little bit you can't go over curves that's how I fuck my uh, bash plate up because you're always bottoming out you can't really go, go up and down stairs if you want to go off road you, you can't kind of stuff I mean but these are really good wheels they're real nimble if you're just gonna be riding on the street only and they're they're perfect. They're really sticky. The tires and the wheels are high quality. The flow wheels. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.